Hi. Now in this question, we're given this figure which shows part of the curve then with equation y equals 1 minus 2 cos x, where x is measured in radians. And the curve crosses the x-axis at the points A and the point B. And what we've got to do is find in terms of pi the x-coordinates of the point A and the x-coordinates of the point B. So if you're like to try this and you haven't done so I'll just give you a moment to pause the video to come back and as usual I'll work through the work solution okay welcome back if you had a go now we know that at a and b the y coordinates for our curve should equal zero so therefore that's going to mean that 1 minus 2 cos x is going to equal 0. And if we rearrange this by adding 2 cos x to both sides, we're going to get 2 cos x equals 1. And if we divide by 2, cosine x or cos x is going to equal a half. And to get x, we take the inverse cosine of both sides. Now, we've got to work in radians so we need to make sure that the calculator is in radians mode and we've got the cosine of angle x is a positive value and I always like to use the quadrant diagram when I'm doing questions like this we've got here zero radians and clearly a and b are positive values so that means that we've got to turn in the positive sense, the anticlockwise sense round here. And cosine is positive in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So you draw two lines as usual equally inclined to the horizontal line here, marking these two angles which are exactly the same size. And we want the two solutions for x, that be that one to there and then the other one will be the one that starts from here and goes all the way around to the next blue line to there. So that's another possible value for x. The red x will be the value for a and the green x will be the next one up which has to be b. So when you do take the inverse cosine of a half on your calculator you should find that you therefore end up with x equaling pi upon 3 radians, the equivalent of 60 degrees if you're working in degrees mode. Okay, so that means that this little angle in here is 60 degrees or pi upon 3 radians. We'll mark it in as pi upon 3. Okay, and that means that this one in here has to be pi upon 3. So we've got the red x is pi upon 3 and the other one, the green x, has got to be 2 pi radians, the equivalent of 360 degrees, minus pi upon 3 and that gives us 5 pi upon 3 radians. And so therefore we can see that the x coordinate of a must be the smaller value, so the x coordinate of a is going to equal pi upon 3 and we can say and of b it's going to be the 5 pi upon 3 and there's answers to our x coordinates for a and b right